Yeah. Uh, we talked about how it might feel to get a ring. Um, what did it feel like to actually walk out there and get it? Um, felt good. Um, well, everybody was excited. Um, for the game, obviously, it was, uh, was kind of different. Uh, game day, um, our time on the clock, uh, we had like 15 minutes to uh, prepare. You know, we had to go out there, you know, uh, prepare for the ceremony, um, watch, you know, the videos and the owners and the coaching staff getting their own ring. So it was kind of, it was kind of like a, a weird day, but uh, you know, at the same time, you know, when the, we were playing those videos, you know, you, you know, you cannot help yourself by, you know, getting emotional and. You know, looking uh, back to the journey where he started from and uh, where we are right now, and uh, we're about to you know, receive our rings and see the banner go down. And it's it's, uh, it's insane. Um, so for me, it was a lot of ups, ups and downs uh, of emotions. Um, you know, you know, tear up a little bit. Uh, it's okay. You know, I'm kind of an emotional uh, guy, uh, even though I don't show it, but. Uh, Happy, you know, seeing everybody smiling, everybody, uh, you know, enjoying and getting their rings and you know, showing it to their families. Um, that was cool, you know. Obviously, one of the coolest moments is that you know, when we were in the free throw line, you know, as a team, and we saw the banner, you know, going, um, you know, uh, going uh, up, and you know, that's going to be forever. Then, you know, uh, you can walk away from the game today, and uh, the banner is always going to be there. You can always come back and watch a game in 2055, you know, hopefully, hopefully we're alive, uh, and the band is going to be there, you know, and some that we did, uh, you know, uh, years ago. Um, so it's insane, you know, we're part of history. Uh, I'm excited, uh, but now it's, it's, it's over with. You know, we gotta got to focus on uh, building good habits, keep moving forward and uh, keep playing good basketball. And hopefully we can uh, you know repeat this again this year next year uh, and all the years that we're going to be here down the road. Uh, it looked like <coughs> TA had just dunked it uh, when he ran out there. Was it like seeing your brother dunk that one as well? Uh, I was I was more happy for him uh, than, than for me. I told him uh, you know before he go out there I said go crazy you know because <laughs> you know he wasn't in uh, the celebration uh, in the locker room last night and uh, of game six so you know this was big for him he was excited he got his uh, he got this like big artwork whatever the cold brew got us that we wrote I don't know if you guys can uh, probably gonna post a picture of it that was cool and we all got some of those the nice guy then he got this uh, he was excited about the, you know the white uh, hoodies and stuff that uh, we've seen NBA champs in the back he was just enjoying the you know the process, so I was happy for him. Uh, and that's the nicest, you know. He's uh, joyful. Uh, he has energy. Uh, he's always happy, no matter what goes on in uh, the world. And um, you know, I was more ha I was more happy to see him that he was uh, enjoying uh, at least uh, you know this uh, ring ceremony. He, he hasn't take his ring off. <laughs> you know, like literally, he went to the Colts out with his ring. He went and got treatment with his ring. He put it in his pinky, then he switched it and put it in his thumb. And then he was just opening, it, closing, it, taking pictures, putting on social media. <laughs> you know, and, uh, that's 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 the uh, you know the awesome part, you know, of this. How were you able to? <coughs> you led pretty much the last up to like after the first couple minutes of the game, you led the whole way. How were you able to avoid getting distracted by all the stuff that was going on before the game? Before the uh, uh, hard, very hard. Um, obviously, there's a lot of distractions. Uh, you know, before the game, you know, you go out there, you warm up, you come back. There's, there's so many distractions. People come to the locker room to meet you. Uh, you know, uh, you interact with the fans. A lot of a lot of distractions, but they say it's part of it. Uh, but for today, it was on. Uh, it was a thousand percent more, uh, but uh, as I said, I was taking it a moment at a time. I uh, tried to enjoy the next ceremony as much as possible. Then we had nine minutes on the clock to get ready, and uh, that's what I tried to do. Nine minutes, get ready, and uh, play the game. Yeah, Danny. Uh, obviously, as you said, we all know how big of an emotional guy you are. Uh, what Yanis is saying to himself, you know, when. Uh, 
he recollects about the whole journey from the day you were chosen in the draft and you came here for the first time till the opening till the opening game and the ring ceremony. Um, you know, um, I'm proud of, proud of myself, proud of the journey I've uh, been, and uh, proud of my teammates and the team and city and everybody that's been a uh, part of it. Uh, but hard work, you know, I wouldn't be in this position without hard work. And, um, you know, I'm always uh, trying to test my limits, you know. Uh, and what I realize now that I'm older, I realize that, you know, that kid when he came in and uh, at 18, he was hard working. And that's what was the uh, you know, difference uh, from everybody else around him. Um, and as I, as I, when I realized that, is that, you know, I stick, stick by that. You know, I, I'm going, you know, keep working hard because without hard work, I wouldn't be in this position that I am today. Uh, I'm proud of him, but I gotta keep working hard. I gotta, I gotta, you know, test my limits, see how far, I, you know, I can go. We've been talking understandably about trying to block out all the distractions of, of this one day. But winning a championship overall can can change the culture of a, of a franchise affects in any number of ways. How hard has it been and how hard do you think it will be for you to work to make sure that winning last year doesn't change the core culture that, that you guys have built over the last couple of years? Now it's not change change the culture uh, we talk about culture. Culture is led by three, you know, the three, you know, from what I've studied, by the three alpha males on the team. You know, you guys can decide who are those. You know, we can go from the owners, we can go from the GM, coach, uh, we can go from the the Chris, uh, Drew, Brooke, or Chris, Drew, me, or whatever the case might be. If those guys, those three guys, those three alpha males, their uh, uh, approach to the game does not change, it's very hard to change the the culture. Um, our approach is. The same, you know. Usually in a game like this, with a lot of fans, a lot of emotion, you know, videos of us from when we were eight years ago, nine years ago, videos of us fighting hard, diving on the floor, you know, of, uh, moments uh, that defined uh, our championship journey, you know. Um, and then obviously, the first game, home opener, you know, you can feel it in the air, you can feel the energy, the jitters, guys, uh, Michael Red, uh, Brandon Jennings, people, a lot of people are here. You know, uh, but we were able to do our job. You know, come out there, do our job. Uh, no matter what uh, goes on, you know, Drew went down, but we were able to come out, compete, guys step up and do our job. So if our approach to the game does not change, the guys that are out there and uh, coach bad, it's hard to change the culture of this uh, team. Is there any way, and you probably were at this on media, but is there any way that winning a title has changed you, even in a fun way? Uh, fine. What, yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm happy. You know, um, and I'm not happy because I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy because people around me are happy. You know, uh, I don't feel like people are stressed out no more. I feel like people have been, uh, been taken care of, and uh, you know, we're gonna do this for. Uh, a long time because you've seen a lot of times in the organization that uh, when you're not able to, uh, you know, go over that uh, hump, uh, you know, they uh, break up and uh, that did not happen to us. And I'm happy that we were able to, with great guys, great coach, great front office, uh, great uh, training staff, uh, you know, be able to do it for the next four, five, ten years, whatever the case might be. Because I feel like if you want to do something special, that's how you have to do it. You have to do it for uh, playing high level for a long time. You know, uh, so I'm happy because people around me are happy. Eric, can I a quick follow up on Thierry? How important is he for that back statement? How important is for your happiness? I'd say he's my brother. Um, all of my brothers are important. Not just my brothers, my family members. Uh, but he's very important for this back team. He showed you today. He uh, brings a lot of energy. You know, he's um, everywhere. Uh, on the court, um, you know, try to deflect passes, try to rebound the ball, uh, try to defend the best player on the other team, just try to do whatever it takes to, you know, uh, help help our team, and that's what TA does. That's what we're going to need him to do moving forward. And obviously, he's going to get more comfortable, he's going to uh, get better, he's going to be able to knock down shots, he's going to be able to play make because he has all those things. Uh, and once uh, he's out there and uh, the opportunity is given to him, 
it's going to be able to uh, showcase that. Um, but man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have him next to me. Um, have that as part of a uh, championship team. Uh, but you know, we we both we both got to keep getting better. Jack, first, like Steven. Uh, yeah. Uh, we were just talking to Durant after the game, and he said that watching you guys playing against you guys tonight compared to the playoffs, that you have just sort of a different level of confidence and attitude about you. Just sort of wondering what your thoughts are on that, and just if you think about the team or about me. Um, as a, the team as a whole. Um. Yeah, just just yeah, I think energy. First game of the season, home opener, you know, uh, excitement. Um, you know, probably, you know, that's what he, you know, he's probably, ta you know, talking about. Um, if we're better team than last year, I don't know. Um, if we, you know, we are a worse team than last year, I don't know. You know, we'll, we're going to see as we move forward. But, uh, you know, you know, I love what we did tonight. Uh, but we've got to keep building on it. Today does not really matter. You know, nobody's going to remember the first game of the 2020 season. Nobody's going to remember that. You know, you know, down the road. So just good habits. Keep building good habits. And today was uh, a game that we were able to do so. All right, time for two more. Let's go to Stephen first. Giannis, you finally got to see the ring. Was it bigger than your brother's? And where are you going to keep it? Where I'm going to keep it? I don't know. Um, I gotta keep it so much safe. I know that I'm not gonna wear it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's bigger than my brother's. It's probably the same size. Uh, but uh, it's obviously special to me. The same way my brother's ring is special to him. Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, uh, it's crazy. I think, I think I have my brother's ring in my, in my, in my house. So I got, I got, I got, I got two rings. <laughs> It's nice, it's special, it's special, for sure it's special. You know, having this ring, you know, showing it to your uh, family members and to your kids down the road, you know, it's always going to be special. Steve, last one? Yeah. Ah, the design also, sorry, sorry that I'm interrupting you, Mr. Steve. Uh, the design also, I don't know if you guys saw it on uh, social media, I don't know if it's out there, but there's like a, there's a, what is called, there's a barcode in the ring Right, so you can scan it with your phone, and it tells you everything about the ring and everything about our, uh, our journey, which uh, that was pretty cool. Somebody gave me that idea, and uh, you know I was able to add it to the ring. So that that's a, that's a cool f uh, feature. So you made that decision? You added that the barcode? I add. I told them to add it. Yeah, and uh, it, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's ever been done before. Yes, um, all, the, all the great things that you guys did in July and that you celebrated here tonight, did, did that remove some pressure from you know, what people wanted and expected you and this team to do? And, and if so, are you curious to find out what it's like to play without that kind of pressure now? Uh, uh, at the end of the day, like you, I'm not gonna lie, uh, let me be totally honest with you. You know, before winning the ring, you kind of have a little bit of pressure. Uh, basket, in basketball, not in life. In life, everything is good. But in basketball, you, not pressure, you kind of, you have the challenge of like, you know, showcasing like who you are and who you are as a team and, uh, you know, trying to get over that hump. And you think in your head that when you do so, that, you know, moving forward, everything's going to be okay. You know, once you win a champion, championship, the pressure is gone, you know, I don't have to worry about nothing else, but it's it's false, you know, because if you're a competitive, your mind creates something, a different challenge, finds a different challenge. Now, you might say, okay, I did it one time, I need to do it the second time. And when you do it the second time, you're going to want to do it the third time. And when you do it the third time, you're going to win the, uh, want to uh, win the Olympic uh, medal. Like, there's always something that your brain is going to create to uh, add pressure. And it's good, because... That's when you're at your best, you know. Um, but no, the pressure stay the same. Um, you know, we're still the Milwaukee Bucks. At the end of the day, there's a lot of people out there still don't believe that, uh, you know, we can do it again. You know, um, 
to kind of take the credit out of well, you know our, our championship journey and um, saying that you know that who got injured like we, we won by you know luck whatever the case might be but we have to keep getting better we have to keep building good habits and there's a lot of people that are not gonna believe in us and it's okay and uh, we got to keep going out there and uh, you know enjoying the game and you know playing good basketball and hopefully we can be in a position again to win another championship but as a team there's always going to be another you know another goal another challenge that uh, we're going to need to face moving forward right, thanks, thank you guys